Hello? Hey guys? Mike? Jay? Weren't we gonna shoot an episode? Where is everybody? But alas, it is the wheel of the worst. A torture device for the modern age. A spin of three your torture will be. DVDs and tapes to seal your fates. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst. Josh, Josh, what did you do? What did I do? Yeah, I, I heard I heard the commotion from all the way across the... I was, I was on the other side of town! Oh, well, I, I, you should know it's the wheel that you built. I, they made me! Who made you? They did! Oh, oh, oh. I couldn't stop it, Josh! That's why I'm here, Rich. You're the true prophet. <sighs> What's the first tape? It's called... Get with a safe food attitude. What moms-to-be need to know about safe food handling, apropos. By moms-to-be. <laughs> do, 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 do you get it, Josh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. They're, they're pregnant. Okay. What's up next, Stretch? Why does mom drink so much? Well, do we need a videotape about that? Videotape? All right, so what's next, Josh? Oh, uh... Um... It, it does that. Oh, is that a feature or a flaw? I don't know. Next up is Menopause Metamorphosis by Susan S. Weed. Sponsored by the Foundation for a Compassionate Society. More hippie bullshit. Uh, but maybe weed. <laughs> More hippie bullshit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, next we have Meredith Monk Turtle Dreams. Oh, cool. I know Meredith Monk. And it appears to be four people on a stage all with their necks broken. I understand this. This tape is haunted. Do you actually know who Meredith Monk is? Yeah, she's a composer. Okay. okay. That's tape. That's that. Uh, our next tape is Massaging the Elderly. Geriatric massage techniques with Dietrich W. Miesler. Uh, produced by the Daybreak Geriatric Massage Project. That's how you know it's good. Okay, yeah, I can't can't wait for elderly massages. Gonna love that. That's gonna be pleasant. I wonder. I'm, oh no, I do. I do. I, actually, that's not true. No, yeah, that, yeah, that will, definitely won't be plus. I, no, I, exactly. True. But I had a question whether it was going to be elderly massage, people massaging, but no, it is massaging the elderly. So I had, I had my question answered even before I turned to look again. <laughs> Maybe it's the elderly massaging the elderly. Well, that would be nice. At that point, I won't be sure where one of them begins and one of them ends. It's just going <laughs> to... Just piles of flesh. Upon folds. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. I hope I don't get that one. What's next? What's, what's next? <laughs> Our next video is Writing for Results, the winning written report. Hey, this one might actually have some use. Yeah. <laughs> Were you planning to be like a writer? <laughs> I might need to write some things down. <laughs> if I'm doing it, I want to do it right. You want, okay, you know what? Yeah, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. I don't get it. What's next, Rich? Our very last tape, which is How to Host a Princess Party. Gwendolyn the Fairy Princess <laughs> was, was holding an obnoxious yap dog. Oh, oh boy. Oh. You know what? I'm fine with this. Yeah, it, it's, I can't say it's any worse or better than anything else we've got on the wheel. I have no rooting interest this time around. 
That's I just, true. The only thing I know is I don't want massaging the elderly. That's, that's the only thing I know. Is it because you can't say massaging right? <laughs> Fuck you. What? Okay, I think we're ready for this. No, we're not. Yay! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. Turtle dreams, right. here we come. <laughs> Come on. Ready for some of that 90s hip hop? Kind of that moody, you know, the moodier Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. I'm into it. We are all unfortunately ugly, yet we are the same. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's that's the hot for teacher choreography there. <laughs> They've got it back. <laughs> no, she's not going to stay out. She's going to uh, keep coming in. <laughs> make up your mind. In or out. <laughs> oh no, Rich lost it. <laughs> Rich, that was an amazing experience, Turtle Dreams. I, I won. I won I won Wheel of the Worst. It's that possible. Was... There's still two more. You can't beat me. You can't beat me, motherfucker. Try it. I will. I will. Let's see what you got. Okay, here we go. Dude, I won, Mike. I won. You're not gonna beat me with two B moms. We'll you see. can't. We'll see. We'll see. I am invincible. Let's go. In a hurry, gotta score a meal. Crowds are coming, kids are yelling, good grief, what a day. Down the aisle, keep your smile, meats and chicken for a while. Read the label, ain't no fable before you leave the store, bring the chorus. Looks like, looks like the actress from Sleepaway Camp. Oh, yeah. All right, Josh. All right, I still have the turtle dream stuck in my head, so we're gonna see what else I can do to get rid of it. Oh, oh. I'll spin the wheel. All right. Uh, oh no! <laughs> you you missed out on your tape, Josh. I know. We're gonna have to learn how to have a princess party, Rich. <laughs> That's fun.
<laughs> with Gwendolyn the fairy princess and her unnamed dog. If only, if only I built that, that flapper a little bit shorter, Josh. That's, that you could have just... That's <laughs> a little bit shorter. I could have really learned something. So close, <laughs> oh, oh, but no. No, 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 oh, no, no it's, it's, it's right there. <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's get this shit over with. All right, let's finish this. Gwendolyn the Good Fairy has been invited to many princess birthday parties. She's watched the excitement on the faces of the birthday princess, family members, and party guests. After all is said and done, the princess will have a successful party because it was a well-planned birthday party. Everyone will feel special and loved. <laughs> Gwendolyn will share with you ten key <laughs> What have you done? Those ten key parties. Me! <laughs> I didn't pick this fucking thing. No, oh, Peepers is asleep. Oh. Huh? Oh, 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 my God, where am I? I gotta. I gotta oh. No, don't, don't try to get away. I gotta go. Wait, hold on. I'll be back here. Just don't bother me. <laughs> so tired. A matching necklace and bracelet. Princess Gwendolyn is more ruffles than person now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm melting into the floor. <laughs> she has lots and lots of presents to open. There are big ones and little ones. The presents are all so pretty. I, I have to say, though, after watching this video up until this point, this does look like a fun party. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's pretty good. Do you want us to throw one for you, Mike? Is I, that I would love a party just like this. <laughs> all right, all right, noted. Welcome back, everybody. We did it! We did it! We are here, there are four of us here. We are not social distancing. No, I'm way too close to reach out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. None of us are wearing masks. We are less than six feet apart and we all got together and watched random videos that we selected on a wooden wheel. We're all gonna die. And we are all white. <laughs> Uh, the first video. Oh, I should be the one to talk about this. Yeah, definitely. you should. Selected on the wheel the of the worst. Fascinating little video called Turtle Dreams. Turtle Dreams, producer Susan Dowling, length 2753, September 2nd, 1983, WGBH TV, Boston. Rich, this was your favorite video, right? Yes. Oh. You're, you're a big fan of uh, avant garde experimental oh. art. Well, well. Look, everything else sucked. This is at least <laughs> this is at least entertaining, even though this is everything I hate. <laughs> everything I despise is contained within this. It's that's very interesting. If I owned like a bar and it was like closing time, I, I'd put this on. It's like, turn the volume up. It's like she's, she's got a bad case of the hiccups, but she's also having an orgasm. <laughs> oh, there it is. She hit it. Oh. I hate these people so much. It's that, that pretentious art school thing where they, they think they're so important and serious and they're not saying anything. No. Or are they? See, that normally on an, on an average episode of Best of the Worst, we'll take a movie off the shelf and we have the luxury of reading the back of the box. Yes. The wheel we don't. This whole video, we're confounded by what the hell was going on. Josh. Well, you, wait, wait, wait. You have the opportunity. Oh. There is text. Yes, there is. That was just uncovered. That's text true. Text on the back. That's not gonna. You're just, gonna just take the just take the, the thing, thing out. Yeah. 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 Read that text. Thank Maybe you, it will shine a light on this right. turtle shell. Let's let's get information about yes, these turtle please. dreams by Meredith Monk. All right. I'm very curious. Turtle Dreams, 1983, was created by the dance theater artist and composer Meredith Monk. The video is a collage style work that juxtaposes minimalist movement phrasing and vocal work. 
with images of a life turtle traversing various terrains. So they're just saying literally what we watched. Oh, that didn't help at all. That just tells us what we know we saw. We're not done. Okay, not, there's okay, more. okay. There's more. Oh, okay. There's more. There's more. <laughs> the turtle is pictured both in an outdoor natural habitat and roaming through constructed sets, the moon's surface, a city block, which play with scale to make the turtle seem gigantic. It's literal. This <laughs> The performers execute shifting Literal. movements and sing repetitive sounds against a spare backdrop, close-ups of their features, and hands appear. Oh my god! The end. That, that is the literal interpretation of someone who was, was outside of the production. Yeah, yes. that was just there, someone there that worked is, at PBS. It was like, what do I oh, write on the even, back of it? it's not even that. There's no clue in that description no. as to what is meant by this piece. Oh my god, the librarian That's what I typed assumed that the up. back would say. Something about like what this is meant to, yeah. how, what you're meant to interpret from And the this. thing is, we need to talk about this, because what this is, is an avant-garde musical piece with specific choreography given to it and performed by Meredith Monk and three others. I want to say he's trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be context. There must be context. It, it, it's not, it's not. It's not just, you know, a sweet genre, like you see it and it, it doesn't mean anything more than that. It has to mean something more than that. It means something to Meredith Monk. It must. D does it? Yes. I have a feeling that these avant-garde art assholes they have no idea what they're doing, but they, they, they know what their peers are doing, and they're just trying to top their peers. See, this, is, this is you being dismissive of art, Rich. Yeah, yeah. Rich is dismissive of art. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly avant-garde art. Yes. It and I understand you know. the, 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 the desire to just write it off, because when we started watching this, it felt like a parody of avant-garde art. Funny. It does. It, it, was, was, it, was, it, a very, it was a very, it was a very tampon in a teacup. Well, what do we have here, Margaret? It's a tampon in a teacup. Yes. Kind of situation. Yes, the ghost world, <laughs> yeah. like Father Mirror, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's, it's, it's more than that, but I don't know how much more. <laughs> I, I had a working theory when I was watching it, and, and I, I pulled, it was like, oh my God, grasping at straws. But I pulled something <laughs> yeah. out of it. It was, uh, okay, the chanting sound, sounds kind of Native American, kind of tribal, right? They kept cutting randomly. They kept cutting to the very extreme close. Oh my God. Maybe five or six times throughout the whole film, randomly, they would cut to the extreme close up of someone who looked like either Native American or Spanish. Yeah, it was just eyes. And, and, and it was like, yeah, it was like. Moderately cinematic looking as far as the lighting goes. Yeah, too, it, was, it was different. And then, compared to everything else. So you had the, the kind of the tribalish chanting. Um, you have four, four whites, uh, black and white white background, you know, black clothing. And then you have the image of the turtle, maybe kind of some kind of folklorish Native American natural. Yeah, initially seen in a very traditional, yes. uh, you know, habitat. Correct. By a river. River water, and then that sort of- And then of, he starts globetrotting like Indiana Jones. There's globetrotting, yes. Then it cuts to him in a decimated like Western city. Yeah, in downtown. There's, very, like, there's there's yeah. dust everywhere, and there's mm -hmm. ca abandoned cars. Yeah, yeah the turtles so it crawling seems all to, over. It so seems to imply like a nuclear. You're just describing. Sort of... This is like the back of the the box all over again. You're just describing the no, images. That you're he's, bringing he's in the Native warm. American yeah. aspect. I'm, I'm the, pulling uh, out some kind of cultural, like like almost uh, sympathy or. Um, <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, some kind of like like um, we feel bad for what we have done to the Native Americans. That's that's the only thing. That's what Mike and, kinda, I, you and know. I'm talking on a one percent kind of level here. <laughs> Because the rest of the video is is people awkwardly wailing and and walking back yes. and forth. Yeah. The, the recording of the music I found very interesting because <laughs> it, 
It's like new age barbershop quartet. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a great title. Yeah. <laughs> New Age Barbershop Quartet. Yeah. Oh. Good night. They're done. And that seemed to juxtapose, like, why, why, why necessarily does this have to be so direct where what you're seeing on the video is such a large space? It feels like it should be um, just a little more spatial, a little more, like, like, like in the environment. The real problem is with this piece, like we don't have any background as to, we didn't have any prep as to what it was. So we just have to take it as what it is. And we, it's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> when we're just yes. looking at it on a surface level and we don't have any information as to what it's supposed to be, meaning what it's supposed to be pointing at, it's just a bunch of people moving around semi randomly and wailing, cutting to, some you know uh, uh, cloaked figures lying on the ground, and then there are turtles. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It should add up to something. No, it doesn't. I hold it in utter contempt. I understand that. <laughs> and yet it is the thing you love the most tonight, and that's, fa that's that fair. is fascinating. It got a in reaction itself. out of you. That that is that is very intriguing. I laughed at it. Sure. Yeah. It feels like, uh, like you mentioned, Ghost World, the yeah. the tampon and teacup. Yeah. It feels like if you're watching a movie that is has a segment of the film that is making fun of performance art, like this is what you do. Like, uh, <laughs> was it the Big Lebowski, the his landlord, when oh, he's doing yes. his, his dancing around in his little costume? Not dissimilar. It's yeah. It, it feels like that. It feels like a parody. Yeah. But Josh, you mentioned the the audio quality. Mm. And and yes, you're right. It it was pre-recorded, and and so that 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 adds a whole other layer to it. Because, say they had like shotgun mics on the set, right? And they're just like going, bah, bah, and they're making, no. they're they're doing their weird no. thing. But remember, there was that one moment where I was like, I was like, oh my god, you know, this person and this person are doing this thing. Yeah. Which means this is premeditated. It was premeditated. Very much. <laughs> oh, don't forget this. This is need to do some of that. <laughs> Pretend oh. you're a cat playing with a string. You're, the ninjas are attacking. The, the, the strange thing is, is there's very specific movements. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And like somebody thought of that and said you have to do this at this time. And that's what I'm saying. It means something to someone. Yeah. I, I, I don't get, like, dance performance yeah. art. I just don't understand No, this is garbage. It was planned out. The move, the body movements were planned out. The, seemed the very, particular very audio, the yelling, the mm -hmm. chanting, the Yoko Ono-esque uh, uh, garbling. Get a little, little Yoko texture here. The vibrato and the, uh, and, the, and the cackling, the, what, what, whatever you want to call it. Was, it. it was it was interesting because it would it would alternate between phrases. I'm I went to the store. Yeah, I, I went, went to the yeah, store. Yeah. I went to the store. I went to the star 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 star. I went to the star 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 star. Star 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 star. What is she saying? I think she went to the store. Which maybe is meant to kind of like put you in like maybe ground you a little bit and be like everybody goes to the store, but then from there it kind of devolves into phonemes and just you know noises. noises. Yeah, yeah, and and it's hard to get something out of that. Is this where the turtle comes from? Ah. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, there's an actual turtle! I honestly wasn't expecting that. I do want to say that turtle was on the goddamn moon. Right. <laughs> was no, it the box? Well, the box said it was, it was on the moon! Oh, but okay. the, problem, the problem is that it was looking at the moon while it was on the moon. So, yeah. mm. The moon has its own satellite, which looks just like the moon. Sure. It's That's a fine. government conspiracy. They're hiding it's, the truth. It's in the dark side. It's called the double see. moon theory. Oh. Moon and a little moon. <laughs> Imagine me and you, and you, 
Imagine how da, 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 da. so happy together. Is that song by the band called The Turtles? Yeah, it is. <laughs> there we go. Josh, where were you? <laughs> I was mildly I think he was confused. just uh, transfixed by your, your uh, vocals. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was mildly confused, and frankly, that's my review of Turtle Dreams by <laughs> Meredith Monk. I was mildly confused. I, th I think I think we've talked enough about Turtle Dreams. I understand Turtle Dreams. I don't like it, but I understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it, and I don't like it. No, oh, fair enough. I don't understand it, and I both don't like it and like it. <laughs> it's not even. It's not evoking anything. That's yeah, exactly. Like even just the fact that it's Turtle Dreams and they're turtles doesn't. No, no, don't say that. It's invoking a lot of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Any art can do that, Rich. <laughs> Yeah, that's art. Yeah. And then I would move on to the next exhibit. Sure. But, but at least you can recognize it as art. And well, as anything is art. As interesting, well, that's true, Jack. Say food attitude is art. Hmm. And the juice is clear. Our next movie was Safe Food Attitude, with with featuring the the kickin' rap group To Be Moms. Oh shit! Uh, Rich, would you like to talk about <laughs> Safe Food Attitude? <laughs> why, why, why? Yes, I would. Yeah, Thank you. Yes, I would. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, so how about tell me about food safety, Rich, in in with the rapping style. <laughs> This is very, it's very 90s. There's, there's one very 90s rap. What are they rapping about in the first one? Uh, germs, the whole thing is about germs and like raw chicken. That's the whole fucking video. The first one is how you need to keep your meat between zero and 40 degrees. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. I remember they were at like a grocery store. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you have to look at- And that's when we got nostalgic for going to the grocery store <laughs> under normal circumstances. <laughs> First things first, disinfect your shopping cart. It says stay away from people, and it's just full of people. That's just everybody's in the grocery store just hanging around each other real close. Oh, you guys remember shopping? <laughs> it was weird. Shopping's still a thing, it's just horrific. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, they need to do a follow-up video to this. Same wrap-in, but they're all wearing masks. And, and two of them are just at home on their on their laptops, yeah. ordering just for delivery. Stuff, yeah. And it wasn't like an apocalypse no, movie no, no. where you had to avoid other people and because all, you didn't know if they were gonna like murder you. They're, or, they're, taking, they're taking their sweet time reading the nutritional charts on all the cereal. They're just picking up items and putting them back on the shelf. You can't do that yeah, and now. Just, and just licking everything. Yeah. Just licking it. So on the Fresh Prince set, there was a there was a video. Yeah. Was we thought about, that was gonna be the whole video was like rap song after rap song about I'm, various things. That, I'm gonna tell you, I was excited. That would have been fun. That was segment one. Yeah. Segment like two through like six are just some very lame. I can't even call them skits. No, so the Julia Child song. Yeah, uh, that wasn't. That was barely. A I skit. mean, they were all variations on the same topic, which is wash your hands, which is very relevant now. Um, don't don't like, get germs fuck around on with things. raw chicken and don't get germs on things. Yeah. And that was it. Oh oh oh, and don't eat dirty cat litter. Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> We had, to wait, we had to wait all the way to the other rap for that one. They were, they were very specific about cat litter. Yeah. It was weird. Now I know your kitty is looking real pretty. What? But here's a fact that you should know. Germs from a fresh kitty litter which smells a little bitter can make you feel very low. 
So don't eat cat litter. <laughs> so don't eat cat shit. <laughs> Aww. Cat, just don't mess with that. In other words, stay away from germs. Stay from those shit. She's saying don't pick up your cat litter and put it in your mouth. <laughs> all, those, all those young mothers just want to put cat litter in their mouth. We need to get the word out. Food preparation, food preparation. Be safe with your food. Put your food in the fridge. Uh, don't do this with your food. Cook your food this much. Make sure you wash your hands and you wash your dishes wash your that hands. are going to be close to the salad when you have the chicken. Oh, and don't eat dirty cat litter. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the confusing thing was who is this aimed at? Because it's all common sense stuff that any adult would know, and you kind of came up with the idea that this was a video aimed at like 14 year olds that get I, pregnant. I really strongly agree with that. Mike yeah. like, had a very strong idea that this is for children that are pregnant. Yeah. Well, you're looking at the 90s, making you babies. got the, the hip hop. Like it's the... trying to be a hip video. Yeah. yeah. So where, it's do you, like... where do you market to pregnant 14 year olds? High school? Like, where... This goes in the high school like detention uh, area. Oh, the guidance counselor has the a copy. The guidance counselor oh, yeah. has a copy of this. Oh, so yeah. She goes, the, girl... the hip guidance counselor, like the cool one. Oh, the girl Mr. tells Frum. her, I'm, I'm pregnant and I'm keeping it. You know, oh, you're only our freshman. Well, oh, well, here's a video about how you shouldn't eat cat shit. <laughs> This birthing <laughs> stuff is hard. This is just the practice part. Yeah, you think this is hard work? Wait till the real thing. You're gonna you shit yourself. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, three rules you need to follow. The litter box is not for you. Cause it's like, it's like, okay, well they, they explain like, okay, I got raw raw chicken. I got to put it in the fridge for, cause I'm gonna cook it later at the, the cookout, but I have this plate of vegetables. So it's like, uh, well, don't put the raw chicken, you know, just on a piece of saran wrap above the the raw vegetable. Now put it on a paper plate because that's definitely gonna stop it. Put it on something where it's not gonna drip onto the raw vegetables. Like a 14 year old might not know that and they might not know that it's super fucking dangerous to undercook poultry because yes. you can get food poisoning. Yeah. Get back in the oven and don't come back till your juices run clear. Sure. But what if you're not a pregnant 14 year old? Is it not important at all? Then then you can just eat all the raw chicken and cat shit you want. <laughs> Fucking, you should have seen me at 14, pal. <laughs> Woo! Just, 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 just like handfuls of kitty litter just <laughs> shoving them down your mouth. <laughs> and look at me today. I think the logic is if you're if you're 14, 15, and you're pregnant, then you you, you have to kind of fast forward into adulthood. You've got to you've got to think about a baby. You've got to start cooking for yourself. Maybe you're not living at home anymore. We all know the grandparents are going to end up raising the kids. Well, probably, <laughs> but but the, the 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 earnestness is there. The 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 purpose is there. You know, a normal 14 year old kid isn't isn't going to check the temperature on the chicken breast when before they eat it, right? Their mom's going to do that. But if you're with you, yeah, you find yourself in a situation where you're pregnant, you're raising your own kid you might have to start cooking for yourself. And what I will, yeah, what I will say to like agree with this is that a lot of these things could feel like a cash grab. This doesn't feel like a cash grab at any point. It just feels like it's got one point that it needs to get across and it's doing it repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't feel like they're trying to make money off of it. Now we're not looking for trouble today. We're just looking for meats that taste delicious. It feels like they're also trying, trying to lure in the horror crowd because they cast Felissa Rose from Sleepaway Camp as one of the two B moms. What the fuck? That it's was the crazy. most random thing ever. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to you guys, I know, but Felissa Rose is in this video. So some fucking Play, playing a hip pregnant rapper mom. Some weirdo collector people are gonna need to have this video now. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the things that you love to touch can carry nasty things like them germs and such. When that unborn baby inside of you squirts, well that's a special indication to stay away from germs. All I know is if I didn't mention that Felissa Rose was in this, every comment under the video, I can't believe you guys didn't know this. I can't believe you guys didn't mention this. Yeah. So I mentioned it, it's out of the way, we can fucking move on with our lives. I don't know why, I, none of that was English to me. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. We're not concerned. We have, we have things that you can talk about later. I have not been to this sleepaway camp <laughs> that he's talking about. It's, it's... I didn't do much camping as a young man. I've never been camping. Get away from the dirt. Yeah, we are animals.
We well, just happen to think a little more clearly than the dolphin. I know. Sometimes. Sometimes. We're special. Sometimes. We're special. We got thumbs and shit. Yeah, we got opposable thumbs and we t we use Twitter. That's the, the only difference between. And that makes us more intelligent. I'm saying I'm using my opposable thumb like that for uh, business. <laughs> I'm betting the evolution on, on dolphins. <laughs> yeah, you think you're gonna overtake us? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're smart. They are I smart. I wish they just weren't so rapey. Are dolphins rapey? Oh! Dolphins are famously rapey. Yeah. Oh. The dolphin slams Billy against the concrete wall. Something has provoked these dolphins into a frenzy and caused one of them to attack. Yeah, it's, it's fucking weird. Is it rape? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they'll they'll rape like humans. Oh. Oh. But it's it's sharks that date rape though. <laughs> sharks sharks like um, knock the female out oh. and they impregnate them while they're unconscious. Okay. Certain breeds of sharks. Man, that sounds like a culture difference. I'm not so sure. You know they, they did an experiment where they had a woman live with a dolphin, and they didn't tell the woman, but I think the secret. She said it was the best her, year of her life. They were gonna see if she would fall in love with the dolphin and vice versa. Oh. And? I think she ended up giving the dolphin a handy because the dolphin became quite enamored of her. Oh. Yeah. I don't wanna hear about this anymore. I've, uh, I, I, I am unfortunately aware of um, at least one book where someone wrote <laughs> about his love Don't yeah. tell stories yeah. about your mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, it's I, good you I didn't. Real good it's good you didn't. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. It's funny, but, but it's, it's good you didn't. You don't have to wash them so often, and with plenty of extras around, if you're in a hurry, you won't take such a chance on using one that hasn't been cleaned. Girl. When you're away from Look at this creep back here, fucking John Favreau. What's <laughs> Does she know him? I don't know. He's just some guy. Are they Siamese twins? <laughs> <laughs> well. Did we talk all about the vignettes and say food attitude? <laughs> oh, th we didn't mention that this is this has a segment of this is the first found footage film. I'm trying to think of what else top what other topics they could cover. Don't drink booze while you're pregnant. <laughs> Wash your ve vegetables. Cook the meat properly. Yeah. What the? Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, we get great. we get that All camcorder POV footage. Well, yeah, the there's that small child that, uh, annoying her mom. That has a is she, is she have learning disabilities. Say, am I on candied camera? <laughs> no, Sally. If it was a candy camera, it'd be all gone by now. I'd look it up. Oh no, Ew. dear, you're very dumb. <laughs> Why would you say Why that? Because she, she really seems oh, to be Oh, that's right, she keeps trouble. mispronouncing words. Yeah. Well, the meat is perishable, honey, and the cooler helps keep it safe. Perish a bubble, Mom? Is it gonna pop like a balloon? There's nothing wrong with mispronouncing words. <laughs> the mom said something and she's like, oh. And she's like, pasta bubble bubble bubble? Yeah, yeah, she keeps mishearing it. And then she goes over to Grandpa, who's in the witness protection yeah, program. Yeah, Grandpa's D.B. Cooper, so he's like, yeah, no pictures. He's like, stop, stop it, stop filming me. What was that, what was that video? Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. Captain Marvel? Am I saying that I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, oh God, remember the guy with the with the guitar. Oh, uh, Billy B. Billy B. Oh, yes. Billy that's what I thought this was going to be. Song after song after yeah. song. That's, sure. that's exactly what I was getting to. Was that you think like you're going to have like a like a, a bad hip hop song, and then the, the the girls get together and go, hello, blah, 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 blah. and then the next song, song is yeah. exactly the same. But they cut from this, and then they cut to the scenario with with her and her husband, and he's like cooking the food. Super germaphobes. And yeah, they're being. She's like, wash wash out the germs, germs, germs. You know, cleaning your hands around food, just like washing kitchen sponges and dish towels, is just another way that your actions speak louder than words. Clean, clean, clean. I'm just trying to cook here. I'm just trying to keep you and the baby safe, dear. We've got the chef's delight stir fry tonight. Okay, they're gonna kill each other at the end of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is real tense. <laughs> And then there's the orgy. Then there's the orgy scene <laughs> where the, all the adults get together. They're gonna like, I don't know, they just had dinner. They're gonna play some games. They have appetizers. They're like, you gotta lead up to the orgy. You can't just go right into it. Well, now that the food is safely put away, why don't we go sit down? Sure, yes. why don't we? 
they have to they have to put away the snacks and appetizers before the orgy. And but the then men they get like, hungry before the orgy, so they have to get them back out and warm them up again. Yeah. They're like, why are you wasting your time putting all those snacks into plastic containers? We're just gonna cover them on our genitals in a bit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna Keep be licking the food out. You're gonna be licking the onion dip off my taint. <laughs> In about, in about 15, why put it in a plastic bowl? It's just unsafe, Mike. You gotta, you gotta be safe. She's like, we gotta put it in a plastic bowl. And if it's out for more than 30 minutes, it gets germs. <laughs> and so it ends up in the fridge. There's already germs in my tank. I, I haven't showered in six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and clean up a little? Um, no, I thought no. that was part of your king. Uh, this is the whole plan. Heat your leftovers until they're hot and steamy. Yes. Last week I made you eat kitty litter. <laughs> Dig around in the kitty litter till you find the lump. Give me um, the nuggets. The chicken nuggets and the kitty litter. He's got like a hole in the bottom of the kitty litter bin. <laughs> Good idea, then we can just pick out the whenever we want some. Are you guys crazy? What do you want to do, make everyone sick? <laughs> oh God! Oh, <laughs> Kitty laid a big one. <laughs> uh, really now so put hard. your I'm in the kitty so litter. <laughs> just move, move on. Do they still do Lamas, or was that just like an 80s trend? I thought you were going to say, do they still have orgies? Yeah. <laughs> no. Do they, are orgies still a thing? Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> They've been, they've been canceled due to coronavirus. <laughs> oh, oh. Orgy canceled. They have Skype orgies, I'm sure, right now. Oh, probably. Oh, Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. Yeah. They have Zoom orgies. Yeah. Zoom G's. Oh, God, yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> that oh, that's yeah. a real thing. I, I'm sure it is. Yeah, a Zoom orgy. Yeah. Just, Some, just, somebody just, out there has done it. Just, just, you know just you've 10 people it. just jacking and jilling it all across the world. <laughs> It's fine. Hey, you know, you can't leave the house. You gotta get your rocks off somehow. I'm not, but, I'm not judging. Yeah, but it's on some kind of server somewhere. Oh, it's saved. Oh, so, you better believe so it. So just remember that. Now we can have leftovers that are tasty and safe to eat. Yes, Miss Dee. Dee. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, Jay. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I need to ask you about princess parties. I don't know why. I, well, um, you've hosted okay. many a princess. I, parties. I have hosted many princess parties, and uh, how to host a princess party is the last ditch effort from an aging entertainer to finally make some cash. I'm Gwendolyn, the good fairy, and this is my puppy. Kill me. Her name <laughs> is Peeper. Peeper and I love going to princess Peeper? birthday parties. She never should have left Cheers. <laughs> First Troop Beverly Hills, and now this. <laughs> Her name is Jane, and she's from Davenport. <laughs> <laughs> she used to work in Hollywood. She ran out of money. She had to go back home to Davenport, Iowa. And now she uh, is Princess Gwendolyn for little children's birthday parties. And this is her video about how to host your own princess party. Really? I think she was a bored housewife who just found a neat niche. That could be it too, yeah. There's, there's many possibilities. We can write all sorts of fanfic. Our, our theory initially was that she uh, had that wedding dress that she never used yeah, for a wedding. Yeah, princess so, dress. So she went ahead and found a use for it with with uh, her, her, her little dog, Peeper. Now, let's explore the inside of the house with Gwendolyn. Oh, and God. Oh, God, Gwendolyn showed up. <laughs> she wasn't even invited. I was drunk. I heard there was a party. It's my house now. <laughs> I'm commandeering this party. Who are you? Are you sticking our silverware under your dress? <laughs> Princess Gwendolyn has a dog named Peeper yeah. who would rather be anywhere else. What colors do I really, really ah, like? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Is she a princess or a fairy godmother? No, she's a princess. She's a princess? She's modeled after the fairy godmother. She's a fairy princess. Oh, God, the mixing. She's, she's very much like um, 
Uh, She's like, uh, like the good Gl- witch Glinda. from uh, Glinda. Very, yeah. Glinda from the just, just enough to avoid copyright rules. Just enough. She doesn't have the same, she even has the same scepter. Yeah. Um, and she has this weird cooing thing that she does when magic happens. <laughs> yeah, her voice is a little annoying and a little phony. Just a little. Hello, princess, and hello, dear friends. Welcome to my castle. Oh, it's definitely phony because she she breaks into her real self in the outtakes. Yeah. Oh, I, see, I miss the outtakes. Yeah, you were out of the room. Oh no, that's not her real voice. <laughs> I think we all know that. Okay, hold the magic wand and twirl around. Place it on the fairy. Oh, bitch, you missed. <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> you. You're very bad at this, and you'll never amount to anything. <laughs> Here, you, ugly girl. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> she just starts insulting everybody. <laughs> but she says it pleasantly. Yeah. You're what they call homely. <laughs> you might marry, but probably not. Your real voice is, okay, I've come here to entertain your children. I love coffee. I need cash up front. <laughs> They have, isn't that a segment of the video towards the end where they say, like, payment to your entertainers for your party? Well, this was a really interesting thing that we were trying to figure out through the whole video, actually. Yeah. Which is that we were like, oh, is this a pitch for her? Yeah, it feels like the whole video is just, oh, Princess Gwendolyn, hire her for your parties. But there's not a big no. endorsement no. at the end, no. like you would expect. It really is. Her intentions may be sincere of just like, hey, your kid might want to have a fun princess birthday party. Yeah, so spend three weeks cutting out stars and putting them on the wall. Yeah. Throw tinsel all around the floor. Get, get your alcoholic just, husband to help out. Just three weeks? <laughs> if, you know, if you don't have anything else to do. Well, maybe she was. Maybe she started off as like you know the equivalent of a, a fairy princess party clown going to kids' locally, parties yeah. locally. And now uh, she's trying to expand her business. Yeah. Or but, she's trying to find a way that she can stay home, but expand the idea of her business. Sure. Through this sure. to to sell to other people yeah. to be the fairy godmother. That's, that's a good point. Step, this is this is step two out of a three step process. Yeah. Step one. I'm 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 for, either a former porn actress <laughs> or or former failed soap opera actress, <laughs> but I have gained experience. Gained experience. I've done some local parties in the Los Angeles area, Davenport, Davenport area, as a as a princess party clown. Now, step two: create a video mm-hmm. and create an, a, a a trademarked product. A brand. Brand. Thank you. That's princess perfect. parties. And is that the brand? Yes. And then hire much, much, much younger women to show <laughs> up to kids' birthday parties as the fairy princess okay. to to host as under the prince Princess Gwendolyn like, trademark. I'm Princess Gwendolyn. It's a very interesting idea, but I, we were still missing that from the video. Don't forget to decorate the hall. Tap it, tap it. He's faking it. You fraud. <laughs> oh, no, not on the carpet. Just dump some shit on the floor, Gee, whatever. Come on. Who the fuck's gonna clean this up? Sprinkled purple tinsel on the carpet. God. Oh, what a nightmare. Ashley even taped cutout stars to the walls of the party room. Uh, Ashley did? Uh, I'm pretty sure Dad did. Ashley also placed the balloon weights that mommy and daddy what made. What the fuck is that? Jay, would you want to cut out that many fucking pastel stars? Uh, the dad in this video definitely <laughs> didn't want to. Hell no, he was downstairs the you whole time. You know what, Jay? I think they cut out so many stars, and they showed that angry dad, who, who was clearly drunk, <laughs> that they... He, he had his t-shirt tucked into his shorts. Something was wrong with that guy. With the, prin- with the princess party uh, executive package, all those stars come pre-cut. Oh, and a, 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 a team of seven or eight people come to the house and hang them all up in, in the a five A team minutes. of seven or eight drunk dads come to your yeah. house and do it. <laughs> yes. They have uniforms the, on. The important thing is you are doing it. Yeah. Oh. They, but they, it's a bunch of other drunk middle-aged dudes with their shirts tucked into their shorts. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Bring they them show in. up and they hang those fucking stars all over your living room and then they spill that tassel all over the carpet. It's glitter. a fucking nightmare. So much glitter. She she makes it look so fucking annoying <laughs> that you you will pay to have somebody else do it. 
Trans <laughs> transform your house oh, yeah. into Mike. a pink and purple nightmare. <laughs> for, for an extra $800, $800, we get rid of the glitter afterwards. I was going to say, <laughs> you think she's got, she's got a contact with Stanley Steamer to come in? And yeah, like, <laughs> that would be the better business, is cleaning up all this shit after yeah. the fact. Wasn't Princess Ashley's birthday party fun? Peeper and I had a wonderful time. Really was I Peeper. hope you did. Peeper shit behind the couch and we didn't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Princess Gwendolyn, uh, she has her own castle. It's a real castle. Oh yeah, it's got, a, it's got another dimension in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, the door opens. You suppose she drags that with her to the party she would do? I was thinking about that, because it's like, that's a prop that somebody made. Yeah. Did they make it just for this video? I have a third theory. <laughs> oh. No. She created this video as a ruse to make it look like she was famous, to spread this video around, to get rich parents to pay her specifically. Even though it's not, it's not implicitly implied, they go, who is this? WWW. Princess Gwendolyn. She has her own DVD. Exactly. You know be... where I'm going with this. Yes. She must be some. Well, let me contact her privately. Okay. Well, the video says that you know you how do you things you should do when contacting an entertainer. I wonder if Princess Gwendolyn does entertainment. You know where I'm going. She doesn't yeah. offer her services, but maybe since we have so much money, dialing, <laughs> we could contact her privately, <laughs> and our daughter's dreams will come true. Yes. When literally the actual Princess Gwendolyn from the video shows up to be. her princess party yeah. God. for for twenty four thousand dollars, <laughs> and, and she shows up. It's a miracle, darling. darling we're the richest people in Davenport, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just call Princess Gwendolyn. No. Princess Gwendolyn pre printed a hundred. Princess Gwendolyn <laughs> pressed a thousand of these DVDs yeah. and drove from Davenport, Iowa to the Hamptons and left them in all the coffee shops and wine bars. And men's bathrooms. And men's bathrooms. Every, and then drove back to Davenport and just waited just for waited. the phone to ring. <laughs> I'm Margaret and I live in the Hamptons and I have a 14 year old daughter. <laughs> I've got my puppy, he's named Haven. <laughs> she needs a princess party. <laughs> Come on boy. Me and me husband are willing to offer you 50,000 quid to come and dance around for my daughter's party in Put the Put the Hamptons. stairs all over my castle. And my husband would like to have his way with you <laughs> after the party. That's where she really makes her money. Yeah. yeah. That's called the cleanup. So, oh. then, uh, so yeah. then she pulls up on the rusty pickup truck with yeah. like the, the plywood castle <laughs> jammed in the back. <laughs> and she, has, she has her like her son Bubba and gets yeah. out and... <laughs> <laughs> set up that, set up that, that, that castle in the backyard. <laughs> now when I do my business with the mister of the house, Bubba, you <laughs> wait in the pickup truck with papers. Well, does everyone know how to play pin the magic wand on the ferret? <laughs> He's very tired. He Peeper wants a nap. <laughs> you let him sleep. Don't you wake him. <laughs> He's a tired boy. Wait, why does why does Devin, uh, the Davenport, Iowa accent sound like? I don't Louisiana? know. The Davenport, Iowa accent should sound like my accent because it's I'm, I'm from very nearby. <laughs> Is Peepers in like the front seat and Bubba's in like the back seat? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, it's got to be an extended cab to yeah. pick up. You bet your ass. Yeah. Bubba, Bubba's riding in the in the back, holding on to the. He's holding on to the castle. <laughs> Mama, slow down. All the way from Davenport up to the Hamptons. <laughs> Mama. This thing's made of foam board. It'll fly out in a gust of wind. <laughs> well, hold on to it, Bubba. <laughs> oh, no, it, oh, no, it blew out over the highway. We got to make a new one. <laughs> Go to Home Depot. Mr. Peepers. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I lost the stars again. <laughs> Mr. Peepers got carried off in the storm. Stars blown out all over the this highway. This is a trail of stars. <laughs> Mama, Pastel stars. Stop by the sheets. I want a burger. <laughs> It's like Simon says, okay, but you have to do whatever it is that I ask you to do. If I don't say the good fairy says, then don't do it, okay? She makes 20000 
twenty to thirty thousand for the children's party. For the children's party, and an extra five uh, for the happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the the mister of the house. You know, you mean the happy ending, like when she leaves the party and all the children are excited oh. because they had such a magical birthday party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what you mean. That's right? how it's reported on the tax returns. <laughs> but. <laughs> The, the daughter gets a princess party, as does the dad. <laughs> he gets his own princess party. Is that his fetish? Yeah. yeah. It's a very specific clientele. Wow. You know what? Listen, I don't, I respect her completely. You, when you find that niche, and you go for it. It's a specific niche. You it's like a right double niche. And, and, and she knows exactly <laughs> where it's at. And, you know, she's hosted thousands of princess parties. Be sure to ask the entertainer, first, can you tell me about your experiences as an entertainer? All right. Uh, well, we normally when we do the wheel, we do three videos. Yeah. But and for we did whatever three reason, we did three videos, but then we have a fourth. Well, we didn't, we didn't think there'd be much to talk about with Safe Food Attitude. Yet we got more out of this with the discussion yeah. than we did with Turtle Dreams, oddly enough. But we, we thought we'd need more 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 discussing more more you who's, know who's we yeah this? don't say we <laughs> they're gonna, they, they're gonna move down to the groin the inner thigh do you want to take this video home <laughs> <laughs> I was not in favor of this from the get go <laughs> basically Mike <laughs> all right and I largely I, I I don't even think that's true he just wanted to watch the elderly massage videos he, so much he wanted to make us watch the elderly massage the, video that's yes. what it is so we watched massaging the elderly when sometimes the hair is not shampooed as often you may accumulate a dandruff and if this is not come off then it may even get a little scabby. I was really hoping to get massaging the elderly. Why? Because... <laughs> it's called Massaging the Elderly. Yes, There's it is. There's a picture of a butterfly, and it says Geriatric Massage Techniques with Dietrich von Meisler. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dietrich Meisler. I'm with Daybreak Stress and Pain Control in Guernville, Dietrich. California. Yes. And I would like to introduce you to a tape that is about massaging elderly. Former <laughs> You don't know that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's our own that's, fan fiction. That's very much slander. <laughs> I, I, I hope he's dead. I really okay, hope he's okay. dead. Okay, suspected former <laughs> Alleged. Alleged. Yeah. I mean, I alleged by it, you and no one else. Okay. If D.B. Cooper's in that video, that might as well be enough. Oh, it, it's possible. We don't know. We're just making he shit up. He escaped. <laughs> fled to South America. Learned the, the techniques of massaging the elderly. <laughs> and then moved to Sedona, Arizona. <laughs> while he made VHS tapes instructing <laughs> others how to put lotion on the backs of elderly men and... Yes, if, if you have their roll, skin roll up. them. <laughs> the put yes, if you, it, I, it's very it's, like it's very clear dough. throughout the video. If you have a corpse with tidy whities on, this is what to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Until today, you can practice on grandma. Again, here the colon is going down, going down on the side, and here we lose it. it uh -huh. goes through the Whoa! Oh. He likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa was gassy. Listen, I had I had I had I had a four count, uh, you know, concern for this video, which is was neck, back, pussy, and crack. <laughs> I got three of them. <laughs> Although we did leave the room at a certain point, and that's important to point out. Pussy could have happened. It could have happened while we were out of the room. The only one that was left was Mike. Uh, we weren't watching anymore. <laughs> no, there was we pizza. All gave there was up. pizza, and I wanted to go have that. Yeah. Butterfly wings are touching, fluttering against the leg. Now, my reasoning was to, first of all, stimulate the skin and do very gentle moves that might possibly initiate blood flow. I, I, I peeked in occasionally, but can we all, can we all agree that- No. N n Hold on. Can we all agree 
that until today, no one has ever thought about how the elderly might need a massage. Yes. 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 We, we can, can agree. agree. Yes. Yes. Because we can also agree that none of us wanted to see the elderly we, getting we massages. Want, we don't want to see the crack. We don't want to see the taint. Oh, we definitely don't want to see the feet. Oh, oh those feet. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, but but talk, we, talking about a Tarantino anti boner. Those can feet. I just, <laughs> can I just say something to the three of you? Yeah. We saw those 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 nasty elderly feet. Oh, it's rough. With with the fungus infected toes, the deformed toes, and and I just want to say that it's in your memories forever. Mike, you you do realize that someday, someday very soon, karma is gonna hit you like a freight train. <laughs> Can I also say to you, the image of the elderly crack and the deformed, fungus-ridden toes are in your mind forever. Why is it you instantly forget every other movie you've seen 10 minutes after you've seen it, but every single fucking image of the elderly massage video is apparently burned into your brain? That's a good question. <laughs> can, you, can you explain this? I just want to know like, why it went be between the tidy whities and the, the towel over the tidy whities Sometimes from the same like scene or perspective, it would change. That towel would disappear. Listen, and he had to hold back. down his boner at one point. He had, he had to have his oh, hand. Oh yeah, he was touching his dick. Yeah, that was that was uncomfortable. Yeah, when there was a little kind of a little down into the the D'Angelo area, as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of pointing you down in that area, you know. And we saw the the old lady who said that that she had trouble with, with in her vaginal region. And then it cut right to the old man again, and it was like, okay, come on. Is he hallucinating things? I, I think this is Mike, yeah. This is what he wished was in the video. We had, we had, the, we had, we had uh, the, the German fellow telling you how to push the, 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 the poop around. In, in, yeah, in, in that the was intestines. the most uncomfortable part. And not press on the bladder. Don't press on the bladder. The bladder is right here. Up here on this side is the colon. The Get the poop out, but not the piss. You can, you can move the pooper. That was the belly. That was the belly. Yeah, yeah. he was showing you the direction to, to massage the belly. The colon, to get, colon it is feels here. Like a, it feels like a lump of coal, <laughs> and you can push it through this elderly man. I but don't, don't go near his bladder. You don't, don't want him to piss. You just want him to shit himself. Yeah. That, but was, I don't, that was chapter that's six. His, that's his last poop. Why are we talking about this? It. But I don't remember anybody, any woman having a problem with her vagina, Mike. I don't... He doesn't give up. That's the main thing I've found with him. It seems like he really cares about It was Beatrice. No, it was chapter six, uh, uh, the, the abdomen. Maybe yeah. this is after we left the room. Oh my God. Massaging the Alzheimer's patient. Did we miss that part? No, this is other videos by other, this oh company. God. Massaging the Alzheimer's patient rub them till they can't remember. Are we sure this isn't a series of fetish videos? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure of that at all. Massaging the penis? The pain is now concentrated. This just makes me sad. <sighs> Where are you going, Rich? I don't know. <laughs> well, Jay, don't let him leave. Close the door. Jay, don't let him leave. Run, Rich, run. <laughs> <laughs> We were done. I, I mean, we I were have done concerns. after Princess Gwendolyn. Yeah, and then and then you made us watch that. And then you made us watch this. So many men were done after Princess Gwendolyn. <laughs> but that's. But you were done after yeah. massaging the elderly. <laughs> yeah, you you weren't done. You had a ways to go. I'll open the magic door of wishes and dreams. Don't forget the lady who just got out of prison work release, who couldn't get the job at the grocery store who had to take the job massaging elderly. Is she the one that's hanging out with the serial killer guy? Yes, and yeah. then the serial killer guy, the guy with the mustache, yeah. who's who's covering his erection with his hands, who's there for God knows what, and he's there to learn how to massage the elderly. Those are also interesting characters other than Heinrich von <laughs> the former <laughs> Jesus who escaped Christ. South America under the guise of being an elderly masseuse to is escape this? war crimes. Aren't, <laughs> are you getting what I got out of this, this video? Is this gonna affect your monetization? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't know what the rules are on YouTube anymore. If the robot, the ro YouTube robot hears <laughs> more than twice, <laughs> sex to affect our ad them. Or they see footage of an elderly person being rubbed. <laughs> We're done I don't for. Know. Our I entire really don't channel know. is going to be nuked from existence. <laughs> I think Ugh. it might just confuse the algorithm enough <laughs> to cause it to not know what to do. We're going to cause a short circuit and the whole system will collapse. All because. No, of I'm, I'm back on board. I'm back on board. <laughs> We're going to bring the whole system down, baby. Scanning for content, scanning for cut. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna get a, a flag for improper cooking of, of raw chicken. Oh no! <laughs> improper food food preparation. <laughs> Jay, okay, you watch this video, sort of, and and now you find yourself in a situation where you have a bottle of lotion, a pair of tidy whities and an elderly man, <laughs> and you're told to massage him. What do you do? I call you and I say, no. come on over. You're the expert. You're clearly into uh -oh. this. Oh. I'm leaving. I'm losing Rich entirely. Yeah, Rich is gone. God, it's not even Shark Exorcist he's out here. <laughs> you know what? Because he doesn't want me to ask him. He knows he's next. What if they say, my inner groin is really hurting me? You know, I'm not a doctor, and that's something you're going to need to take care of yourself. Well, you're a massage therapist. I'm not. Well, you're practicing to become one. No, I'm not. The man wants you. Mike's writing fan fiction about Josh right now. The man now. wants you to make sure his grundle is not sore. I'm not paid well enough for that. Okay. Pain that you can see is considered a varicose vein? Mm -hmm. Actually, only any any it's vein raised. that is collapsed so that it is raised and that it collects blood. As I pointed out in the booklet, there is a great variation among old people of the same. So Jay, what's your choice for best of the worst? Uh, oh, it's Turtle Dreams. It's Turtle Dreams? That was the most entertaining. All right. Mike, what's your choice for best of oh, the worst? Oh, um... I think it's how to host a princess party. You have to pick this, because no, no, the no, only reason no, we no. watched it is because of you. No, I watched it out of curiosity. You can be wrong. So, yeah. We started out of curiosity, but you made us continue was, to watch it. I was hoping it would get more awkward and, and inappropriate. I, all I wanted was that old man in his underwear to flip over and kind of like spread his legs apart and start massaging his taint. And I was really hoping for that, and and it didn't happen. Yeah. It was just boring. Yeah. So princess party is yours. My 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 vote is princess party. You see, see, massaging the elderly already served its purpose of m making us miserable. Yeah. And after that, Mike was done with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rich Evans, what what is your choice for best of the worst tonight? I I shockingly. I'm going with Turtle Dreams. I'm not shocked at that at all. <laughs> being, being some of the most jaw-dropping cringe embarrassment I've ever seen. <laughs> the, fact, yeah. the fact that somebody out there can take this and themselves seriously is amazing to me. Josh, what's your best of the worst? <laughs> I gotta admit it. Uh, initially it was gonna be Turtle Dreams, but uh, once we came up with the backstory, I'm with the uh, uh, princess party. Oh yes. my god! Oh, yes. It's really, yes. it's just, there, there's so many levels there that we could dig into. Like, princess, uh, Turtle Dreams, as much as, actually, actually, I pretty much admired it for its existence. Not that it's good, it's bad, but it's very surface. It's just, it is what it is. Um, can we do something to massaging the elderly? Yes, let's fucking destroy it. Yeah. No!
What the fuck? I went to the star, star, star. I went to the star, star, star. Am I supposed to do this too? How, how long does this go on for? Okay, what the fuck is this?